As the title suggests, I became the world's biggest NPC, which is not a flex at all, but it was achieved and this is how it happened. I think by now everybody knows what the term NPC means, non-playable character. It's been around forever, ever since they've been making video games, but it's only been in recent years, I think that it's really turned into this weird social media meme where people are comparing other people they find in public to NPCs. It's almost become a slang for people who don't know what they're doing. Mindless, aimless people, brain dead people, you get the point. But it really just randomly took off towards the end of 2022. And I think partly because of these videos. Within about six months, I collectively gained over a billion views across TikTok and YouTube for acting like an NPC in public. Whether it be McDonald's, Walmart, a random restaurant, the car wash, you name it. I acted like an NPC, kind of like the GTA NPCs that you see walking around. And I set it to the GTA San Andreas theme song, which somehow, some way took off. I don't know if anybody remembers this, but it was around 2022, towards the end of the year, when people started posting videos of themselves, acting like NPCs in random places. But it kind of took the internet by storm in this weird, new form of content that people haven't seen before, which was definitely cringe. I'm not gonna argue that, but I think it was so different that it stood out from any type of in public, in real life video being posted at the time. And was that the intention? No, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I just thought it was funny, but I would make these videos where I would say, okay, here at such and such place, act like an NPC, let's go. I'll clap my hands, turn around and start acting like an NPC at said place. And I think the goal of it really was just to get people's reactions to me acting like a fool in different places. The way the whole concept even came to me though was I was laying in bed one night after months and months of posting on TikTok and YouTube Shorts where I found no success at all. I mean, some videos would do well here and there, but nothing really stuck and nobody could really associate me to anything. So. I remember laying in bed one night and being so frustrated that I couldn't actually pull this off because I was going into my senior year of high school. I didn't want to go to college. I knew it wasn't for me, but there was no success with social media, so what am I going to do? And I was laying in bed thinking, all right, I am not going to fall asleep until I come up with an idea that actually works. What, what is it going to be? I don't know, but I'm not going to sleep until I figure this out. And as I was laying there, <laughs> there's a 7-Eleven across the street and I saw the green and red neon lights. And I, I guess because it was in my peripherals, I thought of a way to incorporate me doing a video there. I don't know what made me think of this, but I had the idea of going into the 7-Eleven with somebody behind me. I had this weird vision of getting a bunch of cool movie cinematic like angles for no reason at all, just to just to do it. Whether it be to go get a Reese's bar or, or get a drink from the fridge and to have people on TikTok and YouTube say, what is this? I don't know why, but that that's the first thing that came into my mind. I said, okay, how could I build upon this? Well, I could do it as an NPC. So th that was kind of the start of it. And then I went to a local milk tea place in my town to do it. And it, it was dumb, it re really didn't make any sense. I didn't even think it was that funny. But I posted it and it didn't really see much success. It did better than a normal video, but it, I was like, okay, so I'll, I'll keep posting on this topic. And then after a couple of videos, it started to gain traction and then I incorporated the GTA theme song and the rest was history. But I also think subconsciously, the only reason I kept posting it was in a weird self therapy way, I thought if I can keep making videos like this where I intentionally put myself into extremely embarrassing situations and positions that I just don't feel comfortable in, over time I will get used to it and completely rid myself of any social anxiety or stigma I had around people judging me. I don't know why, because I also didn't really struggle with that but I just thought if I kept posting videos like this, I could get to a point where I just don't care about anything or anyone and what they say. So I think in a weird subconscious way, I was making these videos to achieve that. And then over the next six months, it really brought me to a position I never thought was possible. 
I believe from November of 2022 to about March or so of 23, it did about a billion views combined throughout YouTube and TikTok for this dumb trend. So this little self mission of trying to get past the fear of other people's judgment and social anxiety really became my ticket to actually doing YouTube and TikTok full time. These dumb little videos led me to the creator of the week on YouTube featured on the trending page, getting the 100,000 subscriber plaque from YouTube. It led me to meeting Strauss Selnick, which is the CEO of Take-Two Interactive, which is the parent company to Rockstar, which makes the GTA games which was unbelievable and he's actually become a great friend of mine who I still keep in touch with to this day. I was even supposed to do a collab with Mr. Beast for his TikTok, which unfortunately fell through because he got sick, but I still have the mock-up of what it's supposed to be, which I think is cool. And I still know their team, so maybe one day in the future I can do a video with them, God willing. But yeah, he follows me on TikTok, so I'll, at least I have that, I'll take that. But most importantly, it led me to where I am now, not right now, but I was able to move to Las Vegas and pursue boxing because of it. I think all of this happening while being in school was both a blessing and a curse because it definitely built my mental fortitude and ability to handle criticism, especially people you see on a day to day because online people can say things and it's not gonna bother you. At least I think I did a pretty good job at not really caring what people said in hate comments, but, but when I go to school and hear people making up literal lies about you. It it got to a point where I couldn't really trust anybody around me, at school at least, and everybody I was cool with was on social media or online. But I think it really opened my eyes to see just how desperate people could be to bring attention onto themselves or spiral up drama just for the hell of it. But I'm so glad it happened because once I graduated high school, it felt like a weight just lifted off of me and I could finally focus on the things that I really cared about without having to go to school and see these people that I knew were just talking about me behind my back. But needless to say, I think it was one of the best things that could have ever happened to me in high school was this whole chaotic last year and I'm, I'm so grateful and appreciative for it. And really now, couldn't have wished for anything else. I also don't expect anyone outside of my old subscribers to even watch this video, but if you are new, hi, I guess. As for the channel, I'm definitely gonna evolve and create new things, but also not try and alienate anybody who followed me for those old videos. I wanna start doing more long form, and if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. But yeah, I, I think this channel as a whole is not only gonna be a self journal for the things that I do, but I want it to be a place where I can help other people, and. I don't know what that looks like yet, but I'm excited to just experiment different things and really not care about the performance of any of these videos and but to just figure out what this channel's gonna be all about over the next couple of years and maybe a few episodes on how to actually overcome social anxiety and, and any of the tips that I have for that. So yeah, I think for a first video, I'm gonna look back on this in a couple of years and think this was really cringe, but I thought there's no better way to start this channel with long form than to basically recap what all happened with this NPC trend. and But uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. But thank you for watching it. If you got to this point, I appreciate you. Thank you, bye-bye.